Nowadays, to find out how a heart works, medicine has invented machines for scientists to see inside the body. At the North Carolina College of Veterinary Medicine, an alligator is due for a CT scan. To prevent him injuring himself or the team, his eyes are taped over and his arms and legs restrained. This is an alligator straight jacket. That would be good. To help relax the alligator, a bizarre form of hypnosis is used. We're just putting him to sleep by stroking his belly. It helps an awful lot that he has all the tape on so that we can get to his belly, but uh, this actually works. Go to sleep. Nothing happening. Okay, Paul, turn the lights out so we can see the guidelines and let's get him uh, set up. Start there. The images on the screen show a cross section through the alligator's chest. And with each new scan, they are building up a picture of the structure of the heart. However, until recently, there was little point in doing this to a fossil because soft tissues don't normally fossilize. With skeletons like Big Al, scientists could only speculate on what was inside a dinosaur's chest. But this year, a highly controversial find may have changed all that. This is an absolutely superb specimen of a small plant-eating dinosaur. We call it Thessalosaurus in paleontology, but here at the museum we like to call it Willow, the little dinosaur with a heart. And in this region is the actual preservation of structures which demonstrate the presence of a heart. This structure was so peculiar uh, that my colleagues decided to probe it with an X-ray scan. To help read Willow's scan, the images inside the alligator's chest provide a guide. As we move through the uh, thorax, then we're going to see the lung fields. And then uh, coming up between the two lung fields, we'll start to see a solid mass, and that's the heart. Shown on the alligator scan as a graphic, the two aortas, or tubes, which carry blood around the body are highlighted. They lead from the two ventricles of the heart. This plumbing, although perfect for an alligator, only allows it short bursts of activity. Inside Willow, the picture appears to be different. If you look at this three-dimensional uh, reconstruction of Willow's CT scan, we can see right here that the two ventricles are easy to identify. Highlighted at the bottom of the picture. Then, look up above the heart base, we see this corrugated structure. That's the single aorta. If this is a single aorta, it would be remarkable because it would show that this dinosaur's heart had the potential to power it for the marathon as well as the sprint, unlike the crocodiles. Apparently, this little dinosaur had a heart that is more like a bird or a mammal than like a crocodile. This intriguing fossil is still under scrutiny, but if confirmed, Willow's heart will give a new, more energetic look to the dinosaurs. If this dinosaur had a heart that looks advanced, then that implies that it also had a high metabolic rate. And now instead, there is ample reason uh, to think of these as rather high energy active animals.